Hey everybody, I want to give you guys a video update. Um, easier than writing it on Instagram with tiny stupid fonts and no room to write anything. Come here. And also Merlin. <laughs> he wants to join. Um, but yeah, so I had a lung biopsy a couple weeks ago and it confirmed that it is actually uh, colon cancer that spread to my lungs, unfortunately. But it's not the end. Thankfully, um, maybe a few years ago, that would have been very bad news. Um, but everything they have now with new treatments, immunotherapy, which I just started on a month ago, um, all my doctors have been very hopeful, not at all saying like, oh, it's, it's over for you. They're in fact the opposite, saying my hope is just now beginning. Um, so yeah, I started on a specific targeted therapy for this BRAF mutation which is also a couple years ago would have been a bad mutation to have, but um, this targeted therapy they said is having tremendous results and it's getting you know, people with stage four everywhere cancer, getting into full remissions, full cures, and they're very hopeful that I'll have the same uh, result. So, and that's just pills that I'll be taking. I did one infusion, but it was gnarly. I was broke out in sores. I was totally sick for like a month, so. We are putting that one on hold. Um, and then there's some other really cool therapies that just kind of came out or it, we we're just made aware of. So might be going to Mexico to have um, ablation or direct immunotherapy basically poked into my lungs, into the tumors. And they're having crazy results with that, like a lung cancer patient that just, they did one side and poked into a few tumors, did this one treatment, and by the next three weeks, the other lung, all the tumors were already dead, and the guy had no lung cancer anymore. So, checking out all different routes. Um, unfortunately, with colon cancer, chemo doesn't necessarily work very well. Like my testicular cancer years ago, the chemo just works. It's brutal, and that was the worst experience ever. I've not had that bad experience with this time around, but, um, for colon cancer, it's, yeah, basically the idea is that it would, had already spread, you know, maybe before I was even diagnosed or early around surgery time, it had already gotten into the lungs and chemo just does not get into the lungs. And some of these mutations like BRAF and KRAS and each cancer has weird mutations that uh, they have really good blood tests now to find out about, but basically um, they can be chemo resistant. So. Thankfully, they have these targeted therapies now because in the past, if without them, that was it. You know, you were kind of toast at that point. But thankfully, they have all this stuff, and there's more stuff coming out. Like, every week we hear about something new, and uh, City of Hope just have, like, a new wonder drug that's basically hitting the master pathway that um, all, all cancers use to send its evil little signals out and grow and do its thing. So... Tons of good stuff coming out, but already what I've started on um, is good. So, and I feel awesome. That's the crazy thing. I'm still running four miles just about every night, do tack fit classes, um, doing tons of weight training. I run up the mountain. I have no wind issues. I feel incredible. I actually feel healthier and better than I have like in years. So it's kind of weird, but also good. Um, chemo day is always a little rough, but I recover pretty quickly and I'm back to working out by, you know, Saturday. So that's what we're just kind of in the long fight of this. And I love my life. Like, <laughs> I love it a lot. I have a really awesome life. I have amazing people in my life and I'm not giving up like at all. So it's not the end. just want everybody to know that because like stage four and you just hear all this stuff and in the past too, I think that would have been a game over sentence kind of thing and we're not there so I just want everybody to know that and have hope and keep all the prayers and the positive everything the love because I feel it and I really appreciate it and it's keeping me going so thank you guys and I love you all and if I don't write back on messages I'm sorry I get a lot of messages sometimes and I get ADD or I get inundated with 8 million things and I'm like constantly on the go, you know, treatments just about every day and driving to Irvine and three and a half hours a day in the car and it's a whole thing. So 
I love you all, I see your messages, and one day you'll get, like, six weeks later a response from me, probably, so. <laughs> all right, everybody, be well, be blessed.